did we achieve it? Looking at um, outside influences, what's our competition doing? Um, what's happening in the industry? What trends are we seeing? And then starting to ideate about the future and think, okay, what do we want to do in the future? What resources do we have? What resources are we missing? Um, what is our ideal state? All of those kinds of things. Um, but that has to be structured. Those, those questions, you have to create a structure, not only as to what the questions are you want to answer, but how you're going to discuss those questions together. Because there are different formats that you can use. You can do, you know, some individual thinking. You can have breakout groups. You can have um, teams kind of, you know, doing problem solving sessions together where they present. But you can, there's lots of different tools and techniques that you can use to manage those conversations that will come right at the end. But once you've figured out, okay, what is it that we are going to get together and talk about? I love that. I love the way you talk about asking and posing questions as well, because that then shifts the energy, doesn't it? Because often what you see is people talk about wanting vague things like alignment or, you know, downloading information. It can end up, again, being that death by PowerPoint where you're just giving people information and going, do you agree with this team? Yes or no? And that's quite an awkward situation for somebody to be in. But if you pose everything as a question, you know, here's the background. What should we do about this? It encourages that discussion yeah. rather than, you know, you limiting your ideas to just the ones that have been presented. Now, that approach of asking, you know, going in with questions is a lovely way to think about it. Almost like a menu of the things that you want to do. That's really not a really nice approach. Right. I really, really like that. Mm. And I can see then how you that leads to a structure of you getting some useful things out of it, doesn't it? And if you're going into that, assuming you don't have the answers, really. Absolutely. It's kind of going with that curiosity. And, you know, those questions can even be sourced by speaking to everyone individually before. So, you, you know, you might have someone who is leading. You might have an external facilitator like, my, you know, myself or you. And that is kind of planning that offsite. And we may have individual conversations with everybody on the team to say, okay, you're going to be spending a day together. What do you think would be most important or most useful for you to discuss? And then using that um, to plan the outline. No, I really like that. It's a nice way to think about it as well, because then you get some real structure around the offsite and you've got a clear idea of actually what you're working towards and what the point of the offsite is, rather than obviously getting people together and there's somehow magic that you're going to create off the back of it. 